Okay, well, figured it all out. So they way if I wanted to only replace the diorite in that spot right there. Here's what I would do. Fill and do something like 10 blocks out in each direction. And now I would say um, glowstone zero replace stone. Um, I think diorite would be two. And I would say that. And it just doesn't work anymore. So now to do the same thing, here's what you would say. And so all you're doing really is replacing the first zero with this. And if glowstone had different types, you would change it, but it doesn't. So say I wanted to, let's make it even more complicated. Actually, wait, why would I do that? Let me just show you it first. Okay. It's like this. Boom. See? Now, nothing's ruined anymore. It's actually a little better because you could do with, like, things facing different directions and stuff. But say I wanted to just replace now the andesite. And instead of glowstone, I wanted to use stone. But the stone type, I would do parentheses, stone underscore type, parentheses, then colon and then parentheses, and then I could say granite. Yeah. Boom. Now, the last thing I'm wondering is if I could do something like, it seems like they've added stuff, so there's a lot to play with here, but what I think is maybe we could do multiples. So let's try andesite and diorite see if we can get randoms like in java no no okay but that's that's okay because we got what we needed anyway we could change specific types of stone into things without messing with the other parts and it'd be as easy as that so we could do like well no, let's not do lava this is a um, world I just made, so let me give myself an advantage here. How about we do iron ore, and then don't forget the brackets. Boom, there, we got some iron ore. All right, so mystery solved. That's the end. Now we know how to use it again, and in fact, it'll get even better. I think I'm going to do another video on how to perfect it. Okay, see you guys.